Today, we are going to work on subtraction up to nine. So they would like us to choose the best answer. So let's look at this problem. I'll underline important information as we go. Tyler bought a box of red and blue pens. Out of two pens, one of them was blue. So we know he had two pens and one of them was blue. How many red pens does he have? So we want to know how many red pens he has. So we know that he had two pens all together and that one of them was blue. So we can take away one of them because we know one was blue. So we know the others have to be red. So if we have two and we take away one, we need to find what that is equal to. So we could draw some lines. We could draw two lines to represent the first number, and then we would need to take away one of them. So let's do that. Let's take away one of them. Let's draw an X on one of them. How many do we have left? Yes, one. So two take away one is equal to one. So let's close this and let's find one. Yep, right here. Great. All right, let's read this problem. We'll underline important information as we go. Luke is helping dry the dishes. Five dishes have been washed. He already dried one of those. How many dishes does he have left to dry? So we know that five dishes have been washed and he has already dried one of those. So he has one less to dry. So we are going to take away one and then we will see what our answer is. So he's helping dry dishes. Five have been washed. So let's draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them have been washed. He has already dried one of those. So we get to take one of those away because it's already been dry. Now we need to find how many he has left to dry. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. He has four left to dry. So that is our answer. So let's see, is four an answer down here? It is. Amazing work. All right. Avery bought two bananas. So two bananas is important. Then she ate one of them. How many does she have left? Well, let's see, we know she started off with two and then she ate one. So we know we're going to take one of them away. So she bought two bananas and she ate one of them. How many does she have left? Well, let's draw a picture. One, two, she started off with two and then she ate one of them. So I'm gonna cross one of those off. How many did she have left? Yes, just one. Great, so one is our answer. Okay, when you start a game of Battle Wars 2, your character starts out with three lives. If your character loses two lives, how many does your character have left? Well, let's write this out. So they start with three lives. And if you're playing and you lose two lives, we're gonna take two away. How many would you have left? Let's draw a picture for that. One, two, three. We draw our largest number or greatest number, and then we take away this many. So we're going to take away two of those. One, two. How many are left? Yes, just one. Great. Oh, I spotted the answer here. All right, let's click on it. Okay. When you start a game of Battle Wars 2, your character starts out with five lives. If your character loses four lives, how many will your character have left? So let's see, they start with five lives. And if your character loses four lives, that means you're going to have four less, so we're going to take away four. How many would they have left? Let's draw a picture for that. One, two, three, four, five. 
All right, so those are the five that you start with. And then if you lose four of those, let's cross off four. One, two, three, four. How many would your character have left? Yes, just one. Great, and I've spotted the answer down here too. Let's click on it. Okay, Ryan bought a box of red and blue pens. Out of five pens, four of them were blue. How many red pens does he have? So we know that he bought red and blue pens, and out of the five pens he bought, four of them were blue. Well, we know that we can take away those four because we know that they are not red, they're blue. And that will tell us how many red ones we do have. So let's draw a picture for that. One, two, three, four, five. There are five pens. Now we know four of them were blue, so let's cross off four. One, two, three, four. How many were left? Yes, one. So we know that there is one red pen. All right, Ethan bought a box of red and blue pens. Out of four pens, three of them were blue. How many red pens does he have? Let's figure this out. So we know he had four pens all together and we know three of them were blue. So we know they are not red. So we're going to take away those three. All right, let's draw a picture. One, two, three, four pens and we're going to cross off the blue ones. We know there's three of them. One, two, three. So we have one left and that one must be red. So our answer is one. Here it is. All right. As part of his campaign, the mayor has promised to build three parks before the end of the year. So far, this city built one. How many more parks must be built for the mayor to keep his promise? All right. So they promised to build three parks before the end of the year. So far they built one. So we get to take away one because that's one less that they need to build. They've already built one of them. So if we have three parks total, one, two, three, and they have already built one, we get to cross off one of those because that one's done. How many more do they have to build? One, two. Yes, two. Let's find that answer below. Oh, I found it here. There it is. So let's click on that answer. Okay. As part of her campaign, the mayor has promised to build five parks before the end of the year. So far, the city built two. How many more parks must be built for the mayor to keep her promise? So we start with five parks. And they've already built two. So we get to take away those two because those two are done. They've already built those. All right, let's draw a picture. We're going to draw the five parks. One, two, three, four, five. And how many did they already build? Yes, two, so we get to take out two of them. One, two, because those two are done. They don't need to work on those, but they do need to work on these. How many do they have left to work on? One, two, three. Great, so our answer is three. Okay, Benjamin saw four movies at the cinema last month. This month, mm -hmm. however, he only saw two. How many more movies did Benjamin watch last month than this month? All right, so we know he saw four movies at the cinema last month. This month, however, he only saw two. How many more movies did he watch last month than this month? So last time he watched four, this time he only watched two. So we're gonna take away the two he watched this time to find out how many more he watched last time. So let's draw four, one, two, three, four. And now this time he only watched two, so we're gonna cross off two of them. 
All right, and this is how many more? Two more. We can also look at this in another way. We can look at it like this. He watched four last month and two this month. And let's see how many more that is. We're going to connect these. We're going to say, all right, this is the same. This is the same. All right, if he had watched two last month and two this month, it would have been the same. He would have watched no more. But here now we can see how many more he watched last month. There's one, two. Just like when we drew this and crossed off two of them, we had one, two. Those are two different ways we can look at it. All right, so four take away two is equal to two. And there's my answer. Wow, thank you for your help, friends.